want to hear from? Your past is a gift. Okay, so continuing on from the previous video, okay? The event that we went to, the experience that we had, okay? How many times in your day, okay? Now really think about it because it happens to a lot of people all the time. And it happened to me that night. How many times in your day will someone come in to your day and say something or do something that upsets you? And then you go off into the rest of your day punishing everyone else that comes after because they've upset you, because they've offended you, because they've said something that you didn't like. They treated you in a way that you didn't like or they said something offensive that you took offense to for whatever reason. And up until that moment, you may have had many, many, many beautiful moments with people being kind to you, being nice to you, doing things for you, saying nice things to you. But at that point in the day, someone comes in and does something and we latch on to that. For some reason, we latch on to that one negative experience of the day and it deletes all the good ones but not only that from that moment you move into the rest of the day upset angry frustrated and everyone else that comes into your path they cop all that you let that out on them just recently you know we were at home and I was having one of those well, crazy days right <laughs> anyway because I still have them. You know, I'm, one of the conversations we were having with my, my husband, I realize, you know, in my life, I have a harmony with love. It flows easily, in and out. But when it comes to peace, I haven't got there yet. You know, there's some things I just, I haven't got there yet. <laughs> when it comes to honesty, it flows, in and out. You know? When it comes to compassion, flows. Kindness, it flows. I know how to use it. I know what it's for. I know how to receive it. You know, there are so many things that are part of who I am that it flows in and out easily. Peace is not one of them. You know, it's something that I'm working really hard at the moment to get that feeling of peace. You know? Now, one of the things I wanted to say, okay, so back to the discussion with my husband was, he was saying, and it goes back to this topic we were talking about, of course, when I come home and I'm in that mood where I'm all flustered or I've had a moment and I bring it home, or he brings it home, when we are in that state, it affects everyone around us. That's what he was saying. If you're in a mood, if you're moody because, you know, at that time I had a sore shoulder and it had been days that I'd had this sore shoulder and it was just getting worse. It wasn't getting any better, right? But I wasn't doing anything either, you know, to address the pain in my shoulder. And so I was starting to get moody, you know, and cranky that this wouldn't go away on its own. And why did I have it? I was trying to work out in my head why I have this pain in my neck and in my shoulder. Anyway. So that's what was creating this mood that I'd gotten home and it was just getting so much worse. So then, you know, my husband's saying, but if you're in a crappy mood, it affects all of us because as much as I'm trying to be happy, it's like I'm hitting this wall, you know, of you being crappy, you know? Um, and it affects my daughter, of course. She's trying to come and share her stories from school and all the things that she wants to play. And I'm like, no, you know, I'm not in the mood for that. I don't feel up to doing that, you know? So, your mood affects everyone around you. We all have this energy. And when we're in a bad mood, when we're frustrated, when we're angry, when we're in this place, it affects everyone around us. You know, it's funny because recently we saw this homeless man and my mum was saying, my mother-in-law, that this lady, because he had a dog and he left the dog to go do something, so the dog's sitting there with the hat, with the sign asking for money. And he came back and this lady went off at him. She was going off her head, right? And just yelling at him about how he left the dog and that he's lazy and blah, blah, whatever the rest was, that her, you know, her vomit, which was her problem. You know, why you would need to yell at a homeless person. 
I don't know, like they don't have enough on their plate, you know. <laughs> okay, you know, it was she needed to dump all that out. She obviously had problems, right, this lady. But later that evening, funny enough, we went out, it was my husband's birthday, and we went out and we were dining, we were having a dinner with him, you know, to celebrate his birthday. And we see this homeless man and he was furious, he was ranting, he was carrying on, he was energy, that angry energy that this lady had dumped on him earlier was already in him. He was already attracting that energy for whatever reason. You know, that if he's feeling that he's not worthy, if he's feeling that he's not good enough, whatever the reasons are behind where he is, the state he's in, you know, his anger that he was displaying later, he was attracting all that because he's already in that place of anger. So, all of these things for you to think about if someone is you know shooting something at you there's some videos coming up that are very interesting and it's about observing the world around you because everything is there for you so in the next video we're going to talk about how you can be at peace regardless of what's around you you know it, shouldn't affect you. It reminds me of that happy song, you know, the because I'm happy, you know, the clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. That song is perfect. If you're in a happy place, if you're in a place of peace, nothing can touch that. You're the one that allows that to change. You're the one that allows that to be affected. So if you're happy for five minutes and then you're in a bad mood for the rest of the day, it's not the other person's fault. It's what's going on up here. And that's what most of these videos are about. It's about what you are deciding about yourself. What are you deciding? What has that person said that's affecting you? Why are you taking that on board? It's their problem. What they said is their problem. That's them. It has nothing to do with you. But it depends on, did you take that on board? Do you believe that about yourself? that you're getting upset, or that you're getting frustrated, or that you're getting sad. Oh, he said that about me, it must be true. A total stranger, off the road. <laughs> you know, sometimes we get upset because a total stranger will say something. We don't know that person, that person doesn't know us, what does it matter? What they say or don't say about you. So, start to become aware of how your moods, whatever you're in, whether you're happy, or whether you're having a really bad day and you're really angry or frustrated or whatever that mood is, look at how it affects everything around you, all the people around you, everything. Start looking at that and start observing it in others. Sometimes we find it easier to see it in another person than we do in ourselves. We're always the hardest ones to see. It's hard to see it in ourselves, but sometimes if you see it in others, it'll start to open that you know, it'll start to open up your eyes about you and how you do that too. It's in you as well. All right, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Uh.